we travel a lot especially lately it seems like we're traveling all of the time and if there's one thing that i've learned in my travels it's that i really like to travel light and so my favorite travel lens has been the 24 to 70 f2.8 more specifically this setup i have a sony a7r i have the canon 24 to 70 f2.8 mark ii adapted to it and it's relatively light it's a pretty small setup and i love the results that i get with it i'm just going to generally recommend the focal length 24 to 70. it's super versatile you can get wide angle you can get some interesting 24 millimeter portraits if you're in tight spaces when you're traveling or you can zoom all the way up to 70 and you can get more traditional looking portraits get a little bit more zoom you know i also really like traveling with like a 16 to 35 but in a pinch, I can always do a panorama to get more wide angle if I need it. You know what else I travel with? What else do you travel with? I mean, it's an either or thing. Like the Sony setup is smaller. I also travel with the D850. This is a much bigger setup. And then I use the Nikon 24 to 70. It's a much heavier setup. Like the lens itself is so much heavier. Do you want to feel? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this setup is expensive though it's like a forty five hundred dollar setup fifteen hundred dollar lens the body is about three thousand dollars i know y'all can't be doing that here's something i've traveled with a lot and it's what i would recommend to most people it's uh, an olympus em10 you can get the latest version or an older version there's not a lot of difference and the 14 to 140 lens and the combination of the two of these is <sighs> Small, it's lightweight, small. and in total you could pick it up new for about $1,100 or you could get it used for much less expensive. I like the mm -hmm. super zoom on here. 14 yeah. to 140 is equivalent to about 28 to 300 millimeters. So you could get stuff fairly close up or really zoom in. It's close enough to get some things like birds, which might be exotic wherever you're traveling, or you could you know, almost fill the frame with a sunset and palm trees in the foreground. And it's also kind of attractive. It's not like that big ugly 80s DSLR look that cameras have. I like the sort of retro look. People ask about it. I have like a nice strap on Yeah, here. I guess you're pretty cool. You know why I like having a nice looking camera? Because I travel with another photographer and she's always taking pictures of me and it's more stylish. You're going to get way more Instagram likes if this is what's showing up in your I pictures. always have to like push the girls away because they're always flocking to you. I'm like, back up. I know, it's hard back to fight up. them off. Well, I have to say, I've used this setup for a family vacation. And that's nice, but I mean, I know I'm spoiled. I know the setup is super expensive, but the high resolution photos that you get, I have a stabilized sensor in the Sony, so it doesn't even matter that my lens isn't stabilized. And if I need to crop, I don't have the same reach. I don't have 140 millimeters, but I have the resolution to really crop in. Yeah, I'll say we have different objectives than most people do. Like we want to be able to make huge prints because we have the, some dream of a, opening a huge gallery. I dreams. But most people just kind of want to take some good memories, post some pictures on Facebook or Instagram, and I think my setup is perfect for that. What is your, like, what's the app, the lowest aperture? It's f5.6. That's not great it, for me. 30, it's f5.6, but in 35 millimeter terms, it would be like f11. So you're gathering so much more light with so that big lens. So that's another point with f2.8 it's a much faster lens and that not only means that i can get better pictures in low light but it's also more subject separation so if i'm taking street photography shots and it's a cluttered background i could always go to f2.8 and kind of blur out the background subject separation really my main point is that i just really love the versatility of the 24 to 70 and i like just slinging my camera over my shoulder and going out on the town and not having to bring like a 30 pound bag so i'm gonna put some recommendations for other good 24 to 70s for like sigma tamron you can get a used one for like 500 bucks there are options out there yeah and similar lenses for fuji and other systems too will be all in the description that's my favorite lens tell us your favorite lens in the comments below what do you shoot with when you're traveling around do you like to have all your gear on you or are you like me and you'd rather just have one camera one lens when you're out and maybe have a few other lenses back at the hotel room let us know down below as always subscribe for more videos like these and like if you like